was found in Lake Catherine after being reported missing Tuesday morning. His mother is in jail after testing positive for meth. Our Claire Kreitz is digging deeper into this story. And Claire, neighbors have found that little boy wandering around the neighborhood before. Yeah, that's right, Bob and Laura. O'Brien was autistic and nonverbal and learned how to get out of the house. According to these reports I was able to obtain from the Garland County Sheriff's Office, this was the fourth time in the last few months deputies and the Department of Human Services have been called to the home. It's a somber day on Lake Catherine as neighbors like Carol Quinn mourn the loss of six-year-old Dante O'Brien. Oh, I, I was so... So sad. I, I didn't expect that to happen. According to the Garland County Sheriff's Office, O'Brien was reported missing around 11 Tuesday morning. Deputies, state police, and firefighters all searching for the little boy. But when they found him in the water, it was too late. According to this affidavit, the boy's mother, 25-year-old Sarah Brashears, says she was asleep when her son got out of her house. She agreed to a drug test and tested positive for meth. I think it was a terrible, tragic accident, and it was due to drugs. According to reports from the Garland County Sheriff's Office, this isn't the first time O'Brien was found outside her house without her knowledge. So we saw the cars over there. We saw the police there a couple times. The Sheriff's Office got a call May 15th from a neighbor to do a welfare check. In the report, the neighbor says she found the boy on the backside of her property in a soiled diaper only. This was the second day in a row this happened. It says in the report, a Department of Human Services agent was called out and the child abuse hotline was notified. Nine days later, deputies got another call, this time from a different neighbor. In the report, he says this is the third time the child has wandered from home wearing nothing but a soiled diaper. Deputies made contact with Brashears and she says her son is autistic and has learned how to unlock the exterior doors of the home despite the new locks and door alarms that have been installed. Again in the report, it says a DHS agent was called out. They scheduled home and office visits with Brashears. The third time, just over a week ago, a neighbor called the sheriff's office saying she heard a whining at her front door. She looked outside and saw this small child who walked into her home. She states he went to the bathroom and began drinking water from the toilet. In the report, a DHS agent came out again. I think Sarah really, really tried to take care of them. And she just got mixed up in drugs. As Quinn thinks about this six-year-old boy gone too soon, she wonders if there wasn't something more that could have been done. I feel bad for them. I, you know, wish it could have been prevented somehow. According to the sheriff's office, her two seven-year-olds were also in the house at the time. Brashears is charged with three counts of endangering the welfare of a minor. We did reach out to DHS, and they say all child maltreatment investigations are confidential by law, so they cannot comment. Back to you.